I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, I heard some checker partridges crowing. We've got some wild checker partridges uh, that live in our neighborhood now. There's, there it goes. Oh, it's up there on the roof. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in, let you see. You see that wild checker partridge on the roof there? Gosh, I, I uh, just don't know how they got in our neighborhood. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, oh, there he left. <laughs> Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you some of the projects that I'm working on already this spring. Um, these will all have videos that I do on them that'll come out. I think they'll be pretty exciting videos if you're into uh, emergency preparedness, growing your own food, uh, gardening, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and give you the tour. Okay, just real briefly, you can see lots of branches around. I've been doing a bunch of pruning, been pruning the apple trees. This tree hadn't been pruned last year, so that's why it had so much there. Um, I've got those. And then this stump, if you watched my videos last year, that thing's going. And all over here, there's a uh, 37 by 25 foot uh spot there that's all going to be garden. I'm going to have four 30 foot uh, mitt lighter gardening or mitt lighter raised beds there. Um, all the, I'll bring you over here, the railroad ties and just there's just a lot of kind of junk around the yard that from whoever lived here before all that will be gone. This stump here will be trimmed down to the uh, to the ground. And this wall, um, now you're too close, you can't see it, but all of this garden space will be mitt lighter gardening. Um, right now I'm working on building the mitt lighter uh, grow beds and, and tea frames. Um, th that'll be a video that'll be coming out pretty soon inside the greenhouse. It's kind of a chilly day, but you can probably see a few bees buzzing around there. Most of them are staying in where it's warm, but my bees survived the wind winter. I checked, got in there uh, a couple days ago and found the queen and everybody looks healthy. I kind of helped them on their spring cleanup of the hive so they didn't have to do it all. So in an upcoming uh, video, I'm going, it'll be a month or two from now, um, but I, as this hive gets really full and strong, I'm gonna split the hive into, into two hives. I'm gonna have a second hive there and I'll do a video on that to show you how to do that. When I, um, so from the same beeves I have, I'll split the hive, they'll grow a new queen, and I'll have two hives uh, producing for this summer. The chickens think I'm being mean because I haven't been letting them out. Uh, <laughs> they poop everywhere and I'm walking around doing a lot of projects. I don't want to step in it. Uh, they're looking at me like, don't you love us anymore? But anyway, I do have uh, four other little chicks um, in the brooder. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, that when they get big enough, I'll be joining to this flock. No checker partridges in there. Uh, here is uh, quail. They've started laying again, um, which is kind of neat. I hooked up a little automatic uh, light thing to light, I shouldn't have that on there, um, to light up, uh, so about four in the morning, because uh, they need 14 hours of uh, light to start laying, and I wanted them to start laying, so that was about two weeks ago, and the, now they're starting to lay pretty good. I'll look in here really quick and see if they got any here that I can see. Yeah, I see one there or two there looks like looks like and the one in the back yeah looks like they're they're laying i'll have to come get those later one <clears throat> one quick thing i'll say that i learned about the quail um when you have them outside and you're they tend to lay late in the afternoon of whatever their day is and so if you turn a light on 
earlier in the morning a few hours early than they lay their eggs a few hours earlier <laughs> in the afternoon um, you don't have to wait till dark to go collect all the eggs so that was kind of a cool trick I figured out okay with these uh, bunnies um, you guys might have seen the video I did a while ago where we tried to breed this little red mini uh, or not mini Rex uh, Rex standard Rex and this uh, gray and white uh, speckled one we were able to breed her but not uh, the red one well I did sweetie anyway um, it didn't take she uh, her due date came and went it's been about three weeks now since she was supposed to have babies and she didn't have them so I rebred her if she's not pregnant this time then I got a problem with either her or the buck I was able to put her in with the buck and he was able to breed her um, the red one and so that's her last chance he, he bred her like uh, had like three fall-offs and uh, if she has babies then yay we'll keep her um, I only want two does and I bought another doe over here this is a uh, uh, a mix uh, New Zealand uh, in other words by mix I mean not uh, not full blood not full full blood like the the other ones but when I bought her she was pregnant she was pregnant about the same time that um, this one was bred and didn't have babies so I'll show you here her little babies if you can see them hi guys they're in there in their nest they haven't started wandering out yet but they're getting to where let me see if i can get one of them come here you can see them here a little bit better oops sorry i don't want that all right he's trying to get in Let's see if i can get one out here come here buddy hi people want to see you oops see they're looking pretty cute me. <laughs> so so that's kind of fun um dirt patch heaven the youtube channel that's the lady i got this rabbit from and this little gal is super sweet and she's a really good mama she takes really good care she had nine babies um when they were born um one was born out on the wire and i didn't get to it on time so it didn't make it and then one of the other mornings um Oh, a week or week and a half later, uh, another one jumped out or somehow got drug out. A lot of times they'll they'll hang on too tight to the mother when they're nursing, and when she jumps out, they'll come out, and the mother doesn't have the ability to put them back in. Anyway, so we lost two of them from, from that, and so we have seven, which is an average litter, so that's perfect. So next, uh, next Monday, I have uh, a guy coming out that's... I'll get all this in a pile for him, but he's gonna haul all the brush away. He's gonna cut on the bushes that I trimmed. He's gonna trim them all really low so that I can treat them with uh, the, the the stumps with a, a stump killer. Um, the stump will go. He's gonna trim that one down real short. That stump there, that bush that we cut, he's gonna take the, uh, um, you know, all of the trash and the, railroad ties and stuff out of that corner over there um, I'm probably not gonna have him take this stuff because I think I want to keep that I'm gonna build a woodshed here um, so that'll be a future video also but anyway what I'm saying is this uh, <laughs> yard will be so beautiful in the spring I'm super excited with everything clean and then in spring and summer as the garden starts growing that'll all be garden I'll have the sides probably not this side but I'll have at least this side possibly this side rolled up on the greenhouse and things growing in there I'll show you over here I don't have a lot of indoor storage space here so I'm hoping that this will work it works obviously fine in the cold times of the year but this is where I'm storing feed. Like you can see, there's rabbit feed. Um, in here, I've just got bags of, of uh, chicken feed for the quail. 
uh, I've got, uh, I always keep about six months because the, the feed lasts about six months. So I got to always keep it about six months ahead of this type of stuff. So I'm going to get some more garbage cans and, and fill that up. Um, but I'm going to build a shed here that will at least keep these barrels in the shade. Um, so they won't just be sitting out here in the sunshine. So that's another project is I'm going to build, build a, build a little shed here that I can stick those in. I'm going to try to build it big enough where I can get a few more garbage cans than that um, in there. Let's see if uh, these ladies have any eggs. Yep, they do. I'll have to come back and get those later. <laughs> Let's see how they're doing. I just filled this up so it should be full, but this is their feeder. That thing just works so well. I just really like that. They don't spill it. That's just, that's my feeder that works the best. These ladies are saying, David, let me out. We want to go range, free range. Now all of this firewood and then this firewood over here, I need to get a splitter so that I can get it split. But anyway, um, I don't want to store it here. We want to be able to use this patio. Um, and I'm not sure. I've got to build some sort of a place to or find a better place than that to store the propane, extra propane I have too. Um, but anyway, all of this wood and this wood over here, I'm going, like I mentioned a minute ago, I'm going to be... Oh, the, the guys that are coming to haul the stump and everything away, they're going to take these cinder blocks, except a couple that I need, um, and haul that away too. So right here is where I'm going to build a, a woodshed um, for all the firewood. If you see those two uh, pieces of styrofoam, those were actually in this, this wall and the wall opp opposite of it. Uh, when I built the greenhouse, but I was concerned that I've got a, a real good double layer there. I was just concerned I'm not getting enough sunlight. If I had a 40 foot long greenhouse like uh, LDS Prepper has, I think I would agree with him. I would have that uh, that whole thing in um, insulated. But with such a small greenhouse, I need to be able to get sunlight's more important. So that's what I'm going to, I took those out. I got, those are going to be hauled away too. Okay, I'm in my garage. I want to bring you around here and show you. I picked up four little, uh, kind of a glare that way. Picked up four little um, uh, baby chicks from Cal Ranch when I was there the other day. Let's see if I can open this up where you can see them. Try this angle where it's not so glary. Just little guys. Anyway, those are the ones that are going to be, uh, I'll put them out with the flock when they get big enough, where the other ones won't pick on them. But uh, anyway, they're, uh, this brooder box works fine for the chicks. I think they'll be okay. That one's kind of tall though. Anyway, hopefully they'll be okay in here until uh they're feathered out enough i think they're like three weeks old now um uh, or just getting close to that so I, i'm thinking that they'll be fine hopefully until uh they're big enough to to uh, put in a grow out pen i don't know if this will work as a grow out pen for them this is the quail uh brooder box but uh Anyway, you can see they got feed in there. They got water back there. Uh, I got a little extra water in there for them too. And uh, works just like a charm. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, I heard some chucker partridges crowing. We've got some wild chucker partridges uh, that live in our neighborhood now. There's, there it goes. Oh, it's up there on the roof. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in, ladies. You see that wild checker partridge on the roof there? Gosh, I I uh, just don't know how they got in our neighborhood. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, oh, there he left. 
<laughs> so anyway, uh, that's that was kind of fun. But yeah, we do. We've got a we've got about uh, 20 checkers that uh, that hang around the neighborhood and that they they come in. I leave I leave feed out for them and they come by and get the feed and. Uh, Anyway, the neighbors are like, that's so cool. We don't know how these, why these checkers are here in town. Uh, you know, I, we saw them talking on Facebook and stuff. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, we're like, I don't know either. That's just so odd. <laughs> anyway, so I, I just think it's fun to have, have some wild birds that are around that, uh, will reproduce the neighbors all seem to like them so I gotta think of a clickbait title to put on this video <laughs> just kidding but uh, the uh, maybe I'll say wild checkers you know <laughs> wild checkers seen in the neighborhood I don't know but a lot of times these update these just general update videos that I do don't don't get as many views as the ones that are on specific topics but anyway so that's pretty much what's going on here. I, I hope this uh, video wasn't a waste of your time. I hope it was interesting. I appreciate you uh, watching the video all the way to the end. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you in the next video.